So just to demonstrate how fast and smooth Chrome OS kind of works, I'm just going to turn on my netbook here. Now keep in mind this is with an, without an SSD, so it's going still going to take a few seconds, but it's already faster than my normal Linux installation is. There we go. It'll give you the login screen. You can just type in your Google credentials and password. And immediately it'll open up whatever pages you had last with all your settings and extensions and all of that intact from your Chrome installations on other computers. So you can see it's loading my pin tabs from last time. Here's my Gmail. Give it a second to let everything load. It moves pretty quickly. I can open up my start page here, open up Life Hacker. Go into Google Music so I have some tunes while I work. On my laptop, the native scrolling feature worked right out of the box as did Wi-Fi as long as I got the right build. You might have to get a build from earlier in May uh, for some laptops. And the battery meter is up in the right hand corner as well. Apart from that you have a pretty good file manager actually. It, it seems dumb because it would be web-based but it actually works just like you know Windows Explorer or something like that would. I can create a new folder, save stuff in it as I download it from Chrome and it moves really smoothly. I have all my bookmarks here uh, automatically synced and extensions from my other Chrome installations. That was all instantaneous the first time I booted it up, which was really, really nice. Uh, you have to do very, very little to set it up once you actually get Chrome OS installed. And then it moves just like Chrome. It's very quick, very quick to render pages. And if you want to turn it off, you can just hit the power button. That'll take me to a screensaver which I can use to get to the main login screen and just hit shut down and it'll turn off almost instantaneously. And that's it.